It's not about the destination. It's about the journey and the experiences you share along the way. My name is Amelia Hartford. Nice to e meet you. <laughs> I like to build cars. <laughs> and drive them too. <laughs> I have three cars of my own, an LS1 Swap 240SX and a Subaru. I'm currently swapping a JDM G5 in and my daily, a Prius, which works great wow. for carrying wheels and other car parts. I met Jim Glickenhouse hey. at Thermal Raceway in Palm Springs. I was there for a Lamborghini track day, but they wouldn't let me film. So I walked across the way, well, road, oh, and saw a car I've never seen before. Have you ever seen this car? It was the SCG003S. A Scudiera, Cameron, Lickenhouse. I did a review on the car and Jim loved it. You've got mail. So much so that I was invited to join the SCG team in Germany to document the 24 hours Nürburgring, also known as Green Hell. I said yes. So I packed my bags and set out. The days leading up to the race were incredible. We set the car up, met some of the locals, toured the track and campgrounds, they are full watched SCG tear apart the car because of a potential leak, such a small leak, then put it all back together in 30 minutes time. I changed wheel and even had access to the VIP spots. 24 hour catering. Then came race day. in position. We have exactly one hour before the race starts. Weather's starting to get pretty windy. The car should be coming around any second. It's going to be a rolling start. This is going to be exciting. Should be coming in soon to pit. Every hour 22 minutes the car comes in. when they go back on the car, brush those tires over the Dunlop for further testing and also to replace them, and then to put the heat blanket on the new wheels that are about to go on the car for the next pit. To streamline the process, the orange tape on the wheels, if you guys notice on the spokes, I know that means something different for drifting, but for this series, that indicates the rear, whilst the yellow indicates the front. Now in case you guys are not familiar with the use of why the tape is on the wheels for drifting, that is so the judges can see when you're pulling the e-brake the wheels stop and they will see the bright colorful tape. Um, that is also an indication whether you're committed to speed, whether you're on the e-brake too long, etc, etc. It's a judging thing. Off to Dunlop. Four hours 
hours in, 20 hours to go. I'm a little jet lagged, I'm making it work. SCG is currently in 16th. We're watching from the monitors as well as watching from the straight. Just freshened up a little bit, walking back right now. Sun's going down, the weather's starting to get a little bit chilly. 19 hours to go. <laughs> walking back and found this. That's a rough day. The driver looks like he was fine though. Hi. English? Yes. Where are we going? We are going to a tent on the ring at the best position. So this is basically a VIP tent with all you can drink beer right on one of the corners of the track. will come out tomorrow. I don't even know what time it is anymore. The team is prepping for rain right now. We are going to head to the campgrounds to see how crazy it is while the weather is still good and while we are still alive. <laughs> yeah, the rain is coming in fast. Yeah. You can see the lightning already, like lighting up the sky. So we're gonna try and get there before it rains because if you guys remember, the campgrounds are all dirt. to Ardenau Forst. This moment in time was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. There was something very calming about everyone being asleep, yet watching the car swift by. It was as if watching the race made time stand still. And then the rain hit. Rain's starting to come down pretty hard. We just saw a couple spin outs, one crash. Couldn't tell that was the SCG that, in order to avoid a car, had to go off course into the, into the grass, but we are officially halfway through the race. It is 3.30 now, 12 more hours to go. Just got word that it sounds like the SCG kissed the guardrail. They switched to full wet tires and it sounds like they bent two wheels, but all is good. They swapped them out and back out on the track right now. It's rough, that's a rough night. Going from first to this. Yeah, 13 hours ago.
that pit stop was a rather important pit stop. Um, that is our second time making contact. It's raining pretty heavily right now, and uh, cars are slipping left and right. Okay, update. No food yet. Also, I'm not sure if you guys were watching during the pit stop this past one, if you're able to see how beat up the car is. This is really a true test of endurance. Um, from seeing the first pit stop to seeing this pit stop, the car was pretty beat up. I imagine every car here is pretty beat up. This is a rough track. Six hours left. I still have not moved from this position. Not sure what happened, but this was like a routine pit coming in because I know they have to change the rotors at least once in the race. I'm not sure if they've done that or if something is wrong with the car, but they actually put up on the dolly and brought her deep inside. So I'm gonna go scope it out and see what's up. what happened but no one looks happy right now they're all shaking their heads First corner, they lost oil pressure and they lost some power steering. So those are both connected by the same belt. They just took off the underbody and the belt was just was just shattered under the arrow. So they're replacing it right now. Unfortunately, that's a really difficult part to get to. They still have the chance to win in their class though. The next car is 30 minutes behind. So as long as this is a quick pit stop, I'm not gonna jinx it. But they're working on it. The guys are really busting their ass right now. already we only have another 15 minutes left before there should be some concern They're putting on the rear fender on the car right now, buttoning everything up. A little light at the end of the tunnel for us right now. They just red flagged the track. The fog is too dense for safe driving, so they're pulling the cars off right now. That means we have a little extra time to get this sorted out. From the 30 minutes we just spent in the box, we were kicked from 12th to 18th, but I think we're still first in our class. Everyone pitted right before, so it's, it's a miracle. is really saving our ass right now. We're having plenty of time to work on the car. The cool thing is too, with this particular flag, we're able to continue to work on the car as opposed to like all hands down. This is really a moment of truth right now. The car's cranking, which is not turning over. Just from the racing is all about. Now, from here it can go one of two ways. They could remove the red flag, which if you guys see, it's pretty hard to see out here. Set everyone back out and anything could happen. Or the red flag is held until 3.30. We hold first in our class and the overall position that we have right now. Pouring rain out here. 
11 minutes left of the race, 11 minutes, and then that is the end of the 24 hour endurance race in Nürburgring. How do you still have energy here? <laughs> I have no idea. Right where we left off, position 19, I think. And seven minutes remaining. We're all here in the pit. We're gonna do the countdown together. Two more minutes. We maintained 18th overall and placed first in the SPX class. Of course, finishing first overall is the goal, which the team plans to do so next year. Going into this, I thought the narrative would be a David and Goliath story. To an extent, it still was. But after experiencing the race, the culture, and the SEG family, I learned it's not about the destination. It's about the journey and the experiences you share along.